Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to review the brand new Blitz Wolf projector. I know a lot of you guys are stuck at home and you can't go to the movie theater. Guys, I have tons of videos on how to get movies at home on your Fire Stick or on your Android box. Well, I'm going to show you how to project it on your wall to make it feel like you're at the movies. All right, guys, so first of all, we're gonna talk about the projector. We're gonna talk about what you want in a projector and the price point. Just to give you a heads up, full disclosure, right now, this projector is under $100. So this is gonna be considered an entry level, but I want you to see what it's like to have an entry level under $100 out the door, shipped to you, price, projector and then later in another video i'm going to do a more high-end one with some more lumens and lumens has to do with the light projecting onto the wall do you want to do this during the day with lights on or do you want to do it at night i have blackout curtains so i'm going to black out the curtains and i'm going to do something like this this one comes 2800 luminums which is plenty at night now if you're going to do a presentation in a classroom with light on probably not the projector for you but you're going to pay hundreds upon hundreds if not thousands of dollars for one of those projectors. So this is an entry level under $100 projector. With this projector, I'm also going to use my new favorite gadget and that's the brand new W2 remote. It's a replacement remote for the Fire Stick or Android box. Most Android boxes don't come with a good remote so you're gonna want something like this. I showed a gyro pad and I showed the vol volume one W1 version of this WeChip remote. I like this one better than the first one. This is the newest one that just came out. I hadn't tested it yet and I just got it in. What makes this one so great? Well, it has the air mouse pointer where you can point at the screen, which you're going to want with a projector to be able to point on the screen. It's easier to use. Um, also, it has the voice. So uh, one of the nice things about the Fire Stick is that you can talk into it with certain things and it's just faster than typing it. And for those websites you can't talk into, it has the full QWERTY keyboard. Not only does it have the full QWERTY keyboard, but they're separated nicely and it has a trackpad in the middle which is like the air mouse. So when you're typing, you can move it and type it and move it. There it is right there, guys. I love it. So on today's demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. So when you see the mouse around the screen, it's because I'm using this right here. And the box that I'm gonna do the demonstration on is going to be the T95. This is the latest Android 10 version of Android boxes, Android 10.0. Um, I have not brought this video to you guys yet, but I'm going to, I've already filmed it, I've already edited it, it's ready to go, I'm just waiting for launch. Um, I put a sneak peek on our Patreon, so if you're a Patreon member, you've already seen this video. I always put it on Patreon before I put it on my regular channels, it gives them a chance to buy these before they sell out. So this one right here, I'll be doing a review on very, very soon. You're gonna wanna see that review before you go out and buy it though, because there are some things about this that aren't as good as a previous Android box that I shared. There are good things and there are bad things and it depends on what you want before you decide on Android box like this one here. But it's very fast and so I'm gonna use this one in this demonstration. So I'm gonna use the T95, the new W2 Air Mouse remote with the QWERTY keyboard and I'm gonna use the projector by Blitzwolf. I'll put all the links in the description section of this video on where you can get these products if it's something that you wanna get. I think not being able to go to the movies right now is just, I mean, personally, it's killing me. I love to go to the movies. I go once a week. It's a big part of our family outing. We get up, we go, it's a weekend thing. We get the big comfy chairs, recliners, and I just love it. So with the projector thing, I've had projectors in the past. I've spent thousands of dollars on projectors. I bought entry level ones. This is the first one that I've ever purchased that was this good a quality. I mean, it's pretty amazing for under $100. It blows my $2,000 Epson that I bought a few years ago away. Not as bright as the Epson, but you don't need that in a movie room. The whole idea is you're watching it at night. If you wanna watch during the day, you watch on your TV. But this projector is really nice and it's under 100 bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn the camera around and put it against the wall. Don't have a projector in this room, so it's just gonna go on a cream colored wall so it won't be quite as bright or crisp as you might think, but you're gonna be amazed with how good it really is. Make sure if you did get a projector, if you don't go with this when you go with something else that it has an HDMI port. Let me just show you the ports on here. This is very, very, very important. This is a nice looking box too, by the way but you need to have these ports right here. So this is the VGA out, so you can actually connect it to a computer monitor if you want, which is nice. It has the HDMI, you gotta have that, because if you can't put an HDMI, you can't put an Android box, you can't put a Fire Stick directly into it to play it, because we're gonna do this on a, on a uh, 
Fire Stick, actually an Android box. It has USB in if you have movies you wanna put right into it. Uh, it's got headphones as well as the AV jacks as well. Very simple, you got all the controls up here and then you can level it and you can angle it and do all those things. I put it on a tripod so it's, I can move it around really easy to make sure it's lined up really nice. You wanna make sure the edges are really clean. But the quality of this and the crispness of a under a $100 projector is amazing. So I'm gonna show it to you and then we'll come back and talk about it. All right guys, so I have it here. I've already plugged it in the Android box and I went ahead and went to YouTube. Now this Android box, if you wanna see it really fast, just a quick sneak peek of this Android box. Let me go home. It looks like this right here. And you'll notice on the screen, now this is on a wall and it's not a completely smooth black wall. So you might see if you look very closely, a little bit of uh, bumps on the screen, but that's the wall. If I had a white projector, it would be that much brighter. It's also still daytime here. And even with my blackout curtains, it's not truly black in this room. At nighttime, it would just be that much brighter. For under $100, it's really quite amazing. Now you can also adjust with this uh, projector up and down, left and right. So if you can't get a perfect direct angle on it, it's no problem at all. So let's play one of my YouTube videos just so you can see. Now I don't have the speaker connected to this projector, but you would want to connect either a really good sound system to it or a Bluetooth speaker. If you connected it directly to say your fire stick, it would be an amazing sound because the sound on this projector is pretty much crap. You don't wanna just listen to it. You need your own sound. I promise you that. So let's go ahead and play something really, really quick. And I'll just have the volume down on the projector altogether. So let's go ahead and go to YouTube. And let's just go ahead and search for me, which is, uh, of course, Curiosity Cafe. And you'll see all of my videos down here. Which one should I pick? Let's just do this one here. It's fairly recent. Let's check it out. Now, I just wish you guys could see the quality in real life. This is 1080p. This is really high. Now, granted, my video that I film, with the exception of this intro right here, is always done in 4K, but it will reduce it down to 1080p on this projector because the highest quality you can get. But if you look at it really closely, and gosh, I wish you could tell in my camera. I'm using a camera to record it off the wall. You can't really tell the quality, but it is amazing. Now, I would use the, I think this is an amazing use for this playing video games because right now I have it currently blown up to, I would say maybe 150 inch screen. Now you could blow it up to a, a hundred foot if you had a big enough wall for it. And that's what's cool about this is you can just have a huge TV, put a good surround system in and you will just absolutely love it. So this is it guys, this is what the projector looks like. I just wanted to show you really, really quick. Let me go ahead and pause this here because it's talking in the background while I'm trying to talk. So there you go, so that's it right there guys. I absolutely love this projector for the price. If you wanna get a very inexpensive projector, something in a price range under $100 just to introduce you to what it's about, I would get this. I would also get a pull down projector screen. I have an automated one with a remote control in my movie room. I should have filmed this in the movie room, but I, I wanted everything to be in my office. There's a lot of things going on in everybody's home. Kids are not in school, wife's not working, so I'm basically hibernating in this room and doing this video. So I'm doing my best to present this to you the best way that I can. Guys, I really like this projector. Again, it's called the Blitz Wolf projector it's the 2800 lumens which is perfectly fine guys because it's still daylight here and i think this thing's pretty darn incredible all right guys what do you think about that projector it's pretty amazing isn't it especially for under a hundred dollars it's pretty pretty incredible to be honest with you the technology they have now i mean I, I can't go to the movies but now i can bring the movies home to me and if you use these apps like hutv or zenny tv or if you keep on going over i have uh, some videos on cinema hd in the top five that's a must have for anybody on their fire stick or android device and then i have others as well here if you want live tv to watch on there as well there are so many options on my channel feel free to head over there just search curiosity cafe or Mr. Curiosity, and you're gonna get all kinds of videos that I've done on how to enhance your experience. And most of these will enhance your movie experience on the wall. Comment down below, let me know if you like this video, if there's anything else you'd like to see. Also, if there's a projector that you've used that you like that's in this price range, I know you can get a more expensive one that's gonna be brighter, maybe a little bit more native crisp. And if you're into projectors, you know what native resolution means. I'm not gonna get into the tech. This is a introduction to a very, very good 
budget projector and I know that a lot of you guys are going to get this and love it. Thanks again for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Comment again down below anything you'd like to know about this projector that maybe I didn't cover in this short video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I just want to give a big thank you to those of you that took time out of your day to watch this video. If you'll do us a huge favor, if you haven't already done so, just hit that subscribe button right next door. And if you like this video and you want to see more, we have a video on the far side there we think you're going to love. Thanks again for watching our video. 